Hi everyone, it's Skylar May here and this is my official Draw My Life. Of course, I couldn't leave out the cute baby photos, but here's a recreation of a photo of me when I was three months old. Cute regardless. When I was little, I was a giant crybaby, but my mom said I was easily calmed with my baby bottle. This pose made me feel like a superhero, so here I am with my superhero necessities, my superhero cape, and my Comic Sans font. I developed a very trusting relationship with my mom. She made me feel very safe and secure, but I didn't stick to her 24-7 like glue per se. I just cried when other people carried me. Sorry, Uncle John. Here's little Scarlet again. Um, this was when I was two years old, when I was still in my diapers, potty training, but never mind that. My nickname at that time was Fashionista Princess. Mom and Dad said I was very picky when they gave me clothes and would throw tantrums. But hear me out. I just wanted some control over my life at that point. I had to eat broccoli regardless, so might as well choose my own clothes. Mom showed me videos of me strutting around the house, proudly showing off my creations. But to my dismay, my brother laughed at my outfit hysterically and I cried, ran off, and stopped choosing my own outfits after that. When I was four, I went to preschool. I was class leader, something like class president, more or less. I found my life's purpose at that time in planning games for everybody during recess, and I always, always asked everybody to hula hoop with me. Once I fell with a massive wound on my knee, and my mom was visibly worried, for good reason, but I was alright. Getting to where I am today was a journey. In elementary school, we had annual talent shows with singers, comedians, musicians, dancers, magicians. At the time, I asked myself, everybody has a talent, so where is mine? I asked my mom for a lot of lessons, singing, acting, and gymnastics. Ultimately, I stuck with rhythmic gymnastics. I know, surprise, surprise, I didn't start ice skating yet. But part of me felt a need to prove my competence with a talent at our school. When I was 12, I quit rhythmic gymnastics. To my mom, that was a break. I wasn't really sure what I wanted in life, what I valued, if you must. It wasn't until the fall of that year when I went to my brother's hockey game that I picked up skating. It's not like I've never been skating before. It just never occurred to me that I would take it up seriously. There was a performance right after the game and I saw a couple of figure skaters with their twilly dainty dresses and snow white blades dance across the ice. It was beautiful. I asked my mom that day if I could take ice skating lessons. She was angry because to her, I was only taking a break from rhythmic gymnastics, but ultimately she agreed and I started taking ice skating lessons when I turned 13. I later joined the Olympics team when I was 18, where you probably clicked on this video from. I've been in Europe training, so I haven't come back to the States in a good five years, especially since my mom was fuming about my decision to pursue an athletic career. But I recently reconnected with my parents and family. I came back to the States after the recent 2022 Olympics and have been with them ever since. I've changed a lot in the past five years, and I feel like I've formed a new relationship as the present Scarlet. And that's a wrap! I'm actually with my family at the time of this video, but I'm looking forward to breaking more records for female figure skaters across the globe. Thank you guys for tuning in!